Okay, uh, so this is the video instructions for how to download Simvascular for eGME442 in spring 2021. Okay, so the first thing you are, you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and then go to www.simvascular.org. Okay. All right, then once you do that, it'll take you to, uh, to this page right here. And so, you know, we'll be visiting this website a lot this, uh, this semester. Uh, but we're going to go down to the downloads page, okay? And so when you click downloads, the whole thing will scroll down, and then it'll give you the option uh, over here. So the first, the first stop is we're going to download the installation package. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? And then when you do that, it's actually going to take you to a different website called simtk.org, okay? So simtk is basically the the website where we're hosting, you know, a lot of the uh, the download files, okay? And so the first thing you see when you come to this page is this section right here for some vascular, okay? And so this will be the main um, package or the main program that we're going to download, okay? And so to download it, you know, we can click this um, right here for download links and you'll see, um, you know, all the different packages that are, that are here, okay? All right, but to actually download this, you, you actually need to make an account first. And so if you, uh, likely you guys don't have an account. So if you, have an, if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and click sign up, okay? And you go ahead and, and fill in your information here. You basically just have to fill in just the required fields. And so, you know, you don't have to fill in a profile or anything like that. Um, but it's basically just to just to make an account for you to, um, to download stuff. Okay. So I already have an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click log in. Log in using my credentials, okay. And then I'm gonna click download here, okay. And so I'm running a Windows system. So I'm gonna run um, this Simvascular 2021-211 Windows um, bundle, okay. Right, and so when you uh, after you click it, it's going to ask you to describe, um, you know, what you're going to use the software for. So you you can literally fill this with anything, but uh, but you can also you know uh, give a little bit more descriptive of a reason. Right, so I'm going to say for me, I'm teaching EGME 442 computational cardiovascular engineering at California State University Fullerton. Okay. And so once you fill that in, you can go ahead and click download now, and then it'll download the, the package for you, okay? So you can save it anywhere. So this is gonna be the installer, okay? And of course, if you have a different operating system, you have Mac or you have Linux, you can download their uh, respective packages, okay? <coughs> okay. And then once the download finishes, you can just go ahead and run the installer. And after you run the installer, you just have to uh, follow the the the, uh, the on-screen instructions. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Okay, and so uh, you know because it's it's a research software, it's it's not um, you know uh, thoroughly vetted uh, through a commercial company. Windows is gonna think it's a virus, and so you can just go ahead and say okay, right? Uh, and so this this video is kind of proof that it's it's okay to run it anyway. Okay, and so this thing will come up right here, um, and you can see, you can read the terms and conditions if you really want, but, you know, who reads those nowadays? Okay. And then after you agree, you can go ahead and click install, and then the installation proc package will, uh, uh, will begin. Okay, and so if, uh, if Windows come up here, you just have to click next, okay? You have to accept the terms again, okay? And you can choose where you want to install it. And so for me, my C drive is, is pretty full, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to my D drive, but you can go ahead and install it anywhere. Actually, I think it's fine. All right, so I'm gonna install it here, uh, but you can install it wherever you want, okay? We'll just wait for this to uh, to install.
Now that it's done installing, we'll go ahead and click finish. Okay. And if you should see the screen right here where it says uh, installation successfully completed. Okay. All right. So that's the that's the front end GUI. And so if you want to check to see if it's installed, you can go ahead and go to your programs here. You go down to S for SimVascular. Okay. And then uh, once you click here, you want to run just SimVascular up here. And what you should see is, is this window right here, okay? And so, you know, um, if you can see this window, then, uh, you know, you know that SimVascular is installed, so then, you know, you you should be good, All right? But if not, um, you know, maybe something went wrong in the installation and then uh, you can let me know about that, okay? All right, but we're not done yet. And so uh, we're gonna da we're gonna install actually a couple more things, okay? And so the, the next thing that we're gonna install is a program called SV Solver, okay? And so SV Solver, um, is actually going to be the program that runs the CFD, right? So the first, so the, um, the what we just downloaded just now is kind of the front end GUI for the model um, construction. So you can almost think of it as almost like the SolidWorks part of the uh, of this process. And so the next thing that we have to download is the program that actually runs the CFD. So you can kind of almost think of it as like the ANSYS um, for our uh, um, you know for our program. Okay. And so that download is down here. So um, you know notice I'm back on SimTK. And so I'm back on the downloads page. And so previously we just downloaded some vascular, okay? But the next thing we want to download is SV Solver, okay? And so you're gonna, you're gonna need to scroll down a little bit. And so we don't want this one. So it's not SV1D Solver, it's just SV Solver, okay? All right, and so just like before, we're gonna download from here. Um, but it looks like right as of you know making this video right now, there's only a new release for the Ubuntu version, which is Linux. Okay, and so we're gonna have to download a previous release because I figure most of you guys are running um, Windows and Mac. Okay, it should be it should be fun. You know, I, I worked with this code a lot, and it's and honestly most code is from like the 1980s, so it's it should be okay. okay? And so we're gonna download the release from 2019, May 28th. Okay, go ahead and click this download link, and you should see three uh, three packages right here depending on your operating system. Okay. And so you have one for Linux, one for Mac, and one for Windows. Okay. And so once again, I'm running the Windows one, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this. It's going to um, ask you for uh, um, you know the reason you're downloading this, and so you can give the reason again. Click download now. All right, and so it's going to download another thing. This one's a lot smaller. Okay, and once it downloads, it's going to say that this is a virus, but you're going to run it anyway because you trust me. Okay, and just like before, the installer is going to come up. You're going to agree to everything, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then that's done. All right, so now you have both SimVascular and SV Solver. So we're, we're not going to use SV Solver until later in the semester when we actually are running simulations. But since you're since you're installing stuff right now, I thought it'd be good just to kind of get out of the way. Okay, so there's one more thing I want you guys to download, and that's the example project. Okay, and so we're going to go back to SimVascular.org. So in your web browser, if you www.SimVascular.org, okay. And once again, you're going to click download. Uh, but instead of the installation package, we're going to download the example projects, okay? Okay, and so on this page you can see it, it takes you back to SimTK, but it's on to a different page right here, okay? And so uh, from here you can download all the various examples that we have. So actually, you know, they've, they've added um, a few examples since I've, uh, since I've left, uh, but the one that we want is the demo project, okay? So the demo project is, is kind of the first project that you know, everyone works on some vascular and what it is is it's it comes packaged with a medical image of your of someone's torso basically and uh, from it we're going to build a model of, of someone's descending aorta okay and you're going to go ahead and click download example project which is the demo project okay and so once again you're going to uh, give a reason Go ahead and click I agree and download now. Okay. And 
it's going to download a project for you. Okay? And so this is just going to be a zip folder. And so once it downloads, you can go ahead and just unzip it. Okay? Right? And then from there, um, you know, that's it. And so if you want to, if you want to test, or if you want to, uh, you know, take it right up until you know, our starting point on Thursday, you can go ahead and launch the ambassador. And then from here, you're going to open up the demo project. Okay, so you're going to click File, Open SV Project, okay. and then go to the Downloads. Okay, Downloads might be actually. Okay, D Downloads, and then Demo Project. Okay. Right, and so there, there's there's a couple folders th that are in there. So you're going to go Demo Project, and then SV Project. And then once you're on this folder here with you know low files, images, meshes, models, path segmentations, you're gonna go ahead and select folder. Okay. And then you should see the, the project load up. Okay. And so what you're viewing right here are the medical images. So this is the CT, this is the CT scan of a of a person's torso. Okay. And you can see here the model is already constructed. Okay. And so this um, you know, this will basically serve as our reference point for the um, for the tutorial. Okay, so for our tutorial, the first thing we're going to do is just kind of construct this solid geometry, and so I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, and then you can you can basically use this this project here as kind of a reference just to make sure that you're you're on the right track. Okay, all right. And so with that, that's the conclusion of this uh, tutorial. And so you know if you can do all the steps in this video before Thursday, then you'll be ready to go for our workshop.